this episode, I'm going to make a work tabletop to go on top of these sawhorses out of this bunch of wood that I salvaged from some pallets. And basically, I'm just going to make a really strong pallet with uh, some bearers and, and a solid top. Uh, but I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle so I can, you know, run power cords and, and put tools in there if I need to. So the first job is to make a nice solid top and to do that I'm going to use a drill and some glue and a dowel jig and a bunch of little 8mm dowels to join it together and make it really solid. And uh, before I do that I'm just going to shuffle these boards around, try and find a nice fit. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Generally, you can find a good match by flipping them upside down and things like that. And any that don't really fit, uh, you can just shave a little bit off with a plane like this. And it um, doesn't have to be perfect. They just have to fit together pretty nicely. This thing's going to have a pretty rough life. I'm just uh, putting some marks where a good place to put dowels will be. And then I've labeled the boards so that I don't mix them up later on after getting them to match. Right. Then we transfer the marks to the edge of the board. And then we use this wonderful little tool called the dowel jig. I'm going to use the 8mm hole that you can see there. And then these two pegs position it really centrally on the board. You get a really accurate hole if you line it up with that line that you've transferred to the edge. Just um, make sure that you don't put the drill in the wrong hole. Only a stupid person would do that. Oh, there we go. All right, in the right hole. And uh, you can see I'm drilling it down to that tape that I put around the drill bit. And that's just to make sure I get a drill hole that's about half the length of those dowels that I'm going to put in later on. And then it's really easy process. Just <clears throat> line up the dowel jig with the lines you put on the edge of the board and uh, drill them down to the mark. And, and you can do this really quickly and you'll get a nice accurate hole to put these little dowels in. Um, so let's uh, glue up the first board and um, again it's a very easy process, a little bit messy that's why I've got the rag there to wipe up the glue but uh, just a little bit of glue down the edge. Spread that out with your finger. There's probably a special tool for spreading out glue, but um, I, I was good at finger painting, so it's my preferred choice. And uh, a, a wet rag to clean up afterwards. And then, yeah, soft mallet really helps for tapping them in there easily. And then we're going to repeat that same process for each of the other boards. And again, you only have to do this on one edge of the board. Uh, because the other one doesn't need pegs or dowels or uh, glue on it at all. And then uh, lining up those boards, uh, you can do it vertically like this. Sometimes it's easier to do it lying down because you know then, then you're only matching it up in one direction. And, and again, a little mallet to tap them together is really useful as well. And it should be a nice tight fit like that. Um, there, you can see here I'm lying them down to fit them together a bit more easily. And then finally, we've got a couple of sash clamps. These are a great tool as well. They're worth every cent. Uh, I use them all the time. And in this case, we're going to use them just to squeeze these boards together. You know, the, the dowels are already holding them in position. Uh, and this is just um, compressing the gaps between them. You can see the glue squeezing out there uh, as the sash clamps join them together. And then um, the sash clamps will hold them squeezed together until the glue is dry and, and that takes about 24 hours. I, I usually leave it for about 24 hours. And then yeah, you've got a wet rag to clean up any um, glue because this exterior glue, sometimes it's harder than the wood that you work with. All right, and here's the frame again, you know, the, the foundation for the worktop. And we've got five bearers and, and three braces running across to hold these bearers in position. So the first job, I guess, is to mark the position that these bearers are going to be in so I'm just measuring it up and then I did a little bit of maths and uh, marked out five equally spaced locations for those five bearers and then here I'm just transferring those marks 
across to the other other braces so that uh, it's easy to find where the bearers belong when I lay them out this way so yeah here's uh, the final setup and here you're looking at the bottom of the tabletop that will eventually go on these saw horses and then yeah just marking the middle of one of those bearers ready to put together we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching